Hey, hi, welcome. Weird episode of whatever this is today. Uh, so, I was stumbling across the internet when I found some uh, interesting uh, Halloween costumes. So I thought I would uh, share them with you. Just in case you needed inspiration on what to wear this Halloween. So without further ado, let's kick things off with the one and only video game guy. Look at this dude. The giant hat. <laughs> or perhaps you'd rather go as Cyberman or Padre. It could be Neo, or you could be a, a priest, whichever one works for you. It's double. It's double. Double the fun. Or how about Dangerous Girl? Or perhaps you're looking for something different. In that case, they've got you covered when you can wear this costume. This is Mischievous Worker. Yes, you know you want to go as a Mischievous Worker. Aladdin, a costume. Gotta respect the wordplay on this one. But what I want to know is the fact that they're charging, what is that, $34? $34.99 for, for a bootleg Aladdin costume? <laughs> what are you people paying? Ridiculous. Harmony Grinder, the top student at Chugboards. <laughs> Girl, $24.99. No licensing fees, they're honest about this. <laughs> what is this costume? Ridiculous, honestly. Creepy husband. Adult size costume. Creepy. Where's the stripey dude? There he is. Ladies' sexy factory worker costume. Willy Wonka employed some very different umpalumpas this time. But is, is this what they had going on in what was it, Scotland, with that Wonka experience? Did they employ these people? Not complaining. Costume culture by Franco. Notionless. You know, I couldn't for the life of me figure out what this one was. If you know, let me in the let me know in the comments below. But what what shocks me is that fifty dollar price tag on this. What is this? I don't think this is worth fifty dollars, mate. It is not. Hungry rebel girl, used brown leather jacket, used black shirt, used black leggings, new bow and arrow, eighties purple musician costume. <laughs> <laughs> when you want a party, <laughs> like it's 19.99, man. <laughs> Blue speed mouse. Ayo, ayo. This ain't Cookie Monster. This is Biscuit Beast. Tiger Daddy Kit. <laughs> I never saw Tiger King, but I, I don't think this is it. <laughs> Neighborhood Nerd Kit, because if the bullies didn't already beat you up and take your candy on Halloween, they will now. <laughs> Brave Warrior America. <laughs> Bro, the stripes don't even line up properly. <laughs> oh, this is just terrible. Genuine. <laughs> Bro, why's he got a British flag on the right side of this? <laughs> what is this? The pubescent frog of silent war. Adult standard! Th that is what shocks me. This is, <laughs> this is an adult's costume. It's like, okay, you could probably fool a little kid with an off-brand costume. No one's gonna know, but <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> Personally. I don't know how I would feel as, as an adult now, rocking around in a pubescent frog of silent war costume. <laughs> Ridiculous, honestly. Oh, now we've got a TikTok orange juice for that fresh squeezed flavour. <laughs> Sidekick Rose. Bro, why are the hands so big though? <laughs> Where's these proportions? That's an adult costume again, what? Is this, is this like a huge thing in America that like adults still do this stuff? Cause like, that ain't really the case in England. Like in England it's like, it, it's a kid thing. And then 
when you're an adult, you just complain about the fact that your doorbell goes off every five minutes while you're trying to watch a movie. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. <laughs> Giant hands. Whoa, Luigi. What happened? <laughs> Fearless Louisa. That is like the, <laughs> is like the absolute opposite. <laughs> men's out of space costume <laughs> it's so blatantly the Vader <laughs> men's out of space costume ah uh, yes boy of the rings that famous book character yes I, I love those uh, J.R.R. Balkine books yeah great stuff great stuff Boy of the Rings. What is that price tag, though? Why are people paying so many dollars for these off-brand <laughs> costumes? Night Killer adult costume. Package includes shirt. It's just the shirt. No. <laughs> it's just the stripy shirt. Is that genuinely it? That is. That is an absolute rip-off. That would not fly in England. That would not fly. <laughs> Americans are crazy. <laughs> Imagine going to the store and saying, Oh yeah, I can get my Freddy Krueger costume, mate. Uh, see you a bit. Rock up. Oh yeah, it's just a shirt. <laughs> Trans boy. <laughs> In translation here. Transport. Boyish snow clown. To be honest, this one's decent, except what is the button placement? <laughs> Why are the bottom two so close together? But now, otherwise, nah, actually, that's, that's kind of a fire costume compared to the other ones. That's not, that's not terrible. <laughs> Evil Midweek Cutie. 1754. Gotta, gotta be honest, that is better value than the Freddy Krueger shirt. Nah, fair enough. You get, you get a lot more out of that Wednesday one than the Freddy Krueger one. So that, that's actually the most decently priced one I've seen so far in this video. Bossy Salem Sister 2497 includes a dress and a wig and a vestido and a pull. <laughs> no, it's the same thing. Too fair though, this one looks a lot more elaborate for the 2497 compared to say, uh, what was that one earlier? It was like 20 quid that was just like absolutely ridiculous. It's not. I'm appreciating the context now that this cost is a little bit more reasonable, but still, that is insane. Wizard Villain Boy. Ah, yes. Voldemort. <laughs> With lots of titties. Nah, for real though, I would, I would rock up to a recording of Five Guys at Freddy's with, with, those, with those party glasses. Like, that is actually kind of fire, but... <laughs> <laughs> I think the worst part of this one is just the logo for Weeknights at Teddy's. <laughs> He's seen some stuff. Look at this dude. <laughs> it's crazy. Juice Demon. The juice is loose. $29.99. Coat, tie, pants, collar piece, shirt. I mean, I'm not going to get used to the fact that Americans pull, like, trousers and pants, okay, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's the fact that it's misleading, I mean, look at the guy, look at his face, it, you would think, oh, okay, this comes with some facial stuff and, that, and maybe the wig, it doesn't, it's just like, it, it's misleading products. 
Juice Demon. Well, wonder how many people are going to see Juice Demon, Juice Demon at cinema. <laughs> One size fits at most! <laughs> Mine game. Includes tunic and hood. It doesn't even come with the sword! <laughs> That's like the best thing about it, and it doesn't even come with the sword. Mind game. What? <laughs> mind game from that hit movie, a uh, mind game movie. What? <laughs> that is terrible. Like, that's the thing, again, it looks like you're gonna get the sword, but you don't. And so that's actually really disappointing, to be honest, but uh, I think that about wraps it up for, um, for these. So let me know if, there's any, if you've got any more... Uh, <clears throat> off-brand, like, video montages of off-brand stuff, send them to me and I might react to them, because I love this off-brand stuff, it's hilarious. Uh, but, you know, so yeah, that, that's that's pretty much all of them uh, for Halloween. Maybe you might want to go in one of these costumes, or if not, maybe you would be better off settling with something a bit more like, um, DEAD PARENTS HERO! <laughs>